Jack's River backpacking trip, Robert, mm -hmm. and it was raining, and uh, somebody asked Brian Madden, um, you know, how the weather was or whatever, and said, well, get yourself fully dressed, and then go step into the shower. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was like. <laughs> Dog the Kraken boat. I'm I mean, so happy we crashed into anyone. They're done. Where's your life jacket? <laughs> hey, yo, where's your life jacket? Okay. Okay. Hey guys, we got all the gear. We don't need the rest of the thing for anything. Day two. After breakfast, the troop loaded the canoes. With heavy rain in the forecast again, we started our 13 mile paddle, wondering when it would finally catch up to us. Alright, load them up. Put all the heavy stuff in this canoe. Yeah, that seems alright. Next, 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 next customer.
All the rain that fell upstream yesterday was making the paddling easy. Scoutmaster Minute. Oh. <laughs> I'm guessing Joey likes the back seat. <laughs> After lunch, we could tell the current had increased even more, with some parts flowing faster than the rest. It was like a river within a river, and when you were in one of those currents, paddling became optional. sticking out of the water like oh it's a chair we'll go grab it and take it out of the river so uh, we get up to this and it's actually a slide we realized this upon arrival so and it was completely filled with water all on the inside and so uh, I tried pulling it into the boat that didn't work so we had to I borrowed his knife and I stabbed it put some holes in it and all the water drained out slowly. And then we hauled it into the boat, and then we floated down river. Yeah, there were a ton of spiders, and it took a long time for that water to drain. So, a Boy Scout just can't leave trash in a river, right? Nope. No matter how big it is. <laughs> Quite literally. And we freed up some driftwood. All right, well, good job, guys. Phone? Yeah. <laughs> It started raining as we reached camp. Unfortunately, some boats missed the campsite and had to paddle a mile upstream in the rain in ever increasing currents. It goes in the middle. Wait, part the tarp right here. Ready? Yeah. Let's hopefully align it correctly. To... Oh. It's going down. I'm yelling, Timber, you better move. You better dance. Let's get the net. You won't remember. I got some. I got a leaf in my mouth. <laughs> Anybody here? Yeah. Anybody here? And a blue bag is a steak. Go ahead and stake that corner down. You guys got it. Did somebody say steak? Oh, steak? This gets giving. I get the easiest job. Paul, you're the FBL. Holding a stick. <laughs> Turn it around. <laughs> Winds blowing that way. Oh. See the problem here is how it's looping in the middle. Yeah. What do you think we should do to correct that? Okay, but like try connecting the rope to this. Is there a simpler way? 
We set up our rain flies and tents and settled down for dinner. Watching them Gordon Ramsay shows. <laughs> you're supposed to. Honestly, if you do, you, you're pretty safe. So, uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the steaks. Boy and girl, I guess, you know, maybe college age. Guy yells out, Y'all missing someone? And I'm like, Why do you ask? And he's like, You got that empty canoe. I'm like, No, we found it. Really? <laughs> That was kind of weird finding that canoe. It's like, I mean, that was one of the moments of the trip for me. That was like, uh, what's going on here? Yeah, it's a little creepy. It, yeah. could, it could have gone really wrong. Next time we need to just rub some red paint and leave. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> we'll catch up and just bring it outside. It rained most of the night, but stopped long enough for us to have breakfast, break down camp, and have a little fun. Once we were packed up, and just as the vans arrived to pick us up, the bottom fell out. The heavy rain that we had avoided all week had finally caught up. Our tents were set up only minutes ago, it was now an inch of water. I guess we're lucky that didn't happen out while we were out on the river. Yeah. 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 Well, my, pants well, my, shorts are dry. my shorts are dry. When we got back to the canoe outpost, Chloe the raspy river cat came out to do a head count and make sure everyone made it back safely. Thanks for watching.